Hello and good morning. Happy Monday, everyone, or good afternoon, wherever you are. Thanks for hanging out with Dan and I. This is Coffee and Questions, where Dan and I answer your live streaming questions. Typically, they're live streaming questions. Uh, we'll answer other you, questions too. We'll, we'll answer, we answer a lot of stuff, but typically it's live streaming questions. Dan, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good. Is that the first question of the, the that, yep. stream? How Count are you it. Doing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. Hey, so I'm the community manager here at Switcher Studio. Dan is the senior project educator. Uh, and we want to answer your questions because we want to help you make better live streams. That's why we do this. We do this every Monday on YouTube. And then we alternate between our main Facebook page and our, our enthusiast group and the enthusiast, uh, every yeah. other week. We so. are live now on the main Facebook page. So hopefully you're watching mm -hmm. there or on the YouTubes. I see these comments coming through here. Um, yeah, I'll just say too. I also want to know, Matt, how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing okay. Uh, I had some family in town this past weekend. We, we got a chance to go to the zoo. The weather here was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Went to the zoo, walked across, uh, we have a walking bridge in town here that used to be an old railroad track. So you can walk over the Ohio river. That was super cool. Uh, yeah, it was great. And then hockey last night. So, I mean, it was a late night, but here I am, mm -hmm. bright-eyed and bushy-tailed with my coffee. Yeah, got my coffee here too. All right, we, there's a there's a conspiracy going on or a mystery afoot. Something is going on. Matt and I both have those white mugs that say coffee and then more coffee that Katie got had got us to, to use on these. We both can't find them. I couldn't find mine last week. Matt could not find his today. They are somewhere, and we do not know where. <laughs> I'm going to just suppose a child in my house took it and it might, I might find it outside. Honestly, <laughs> it's so, I, I hope it's somewhere. Uh, but today I, I'm Mando. So, mm -hmm. uh, cheers. Um, Hey, if you're just joining us, ask your questions here in the chat well, and let me put that, get to them. Uh, yeah, let me put that on screen for you guys that, that right up. Is this going to be here? Right? Yeah. There, yeah, there, there is those questions. Mm -hmm. I really like mm -hmm. that. <laughs> you know, those first co comments coming through on, on Facebook where, where it was this from switcher studio <laughs> and I'm like, Tim, who normally comments a switcher. I'm like, that doesn't sound like Tim. <laughs> turns out it was Asia logged in as that. So I, I found that really funny. <laughs> Hello everybody. Um, yep. Hey, uh, we'll, an we'll answer your questions as they're coming in here. Just pop in, let us know what you want answered. Uh, good morning, everyone. Mm -hmm. I hope you here. guys liked the um, the live stream too last Wednesday we did comparing the yeah. iPhones. Uh, I saw there's some more good uh, conversations going on around that afterwards. So, you know, I yep. if you haven't seen or know what we're talking about, Matt and I, uh, we tested nine different iPhone models against each other to see what the quality would look like in different lighting situations outside versus inside. Um, and there's some interesting findings, so I'd recommend going back and, and watching that. Or if you did watch that and you have an idea for something else you want us to test with those, uh, let us know. Um, you know, everything we did was completely stock. We didn't mess with the settings at all. So yep. I saw people yep. saying, you know, the 11 might have looked better than the 13 even. I was like, mm. I bet, though, if we started messing with the the settings and stuff, we can get that 13 looking it's a pretty yeah, dang I, sharp. They're all pretty close to each other with just like with you know, not messing with any, any of the settings, but yeah, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with my 11 for now. I know it's going to have a point where it's going to go downhill. Uh, mm -hmm. We're getting closer and closer just because that's kind of what Apple does with their stuff. So uh, I'll, I'll keep enjoying it. Um, all right. We have some questions over here on, on YouTube. Let's do it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, one from Reverend Timothy L. Wright. Good morning. Is there some way you can take pre-recorded video and go live through the dashboard instead of the software? Okay, is there some way you can take a pre-recorded video and go live through this dashboard? Um, no, you have to use uh, Switcher Studio is an iOS-based software and it's the application, so you will have to um, stream live from that iOS device, the main one running Switcher Studio. Now, you could take a pre-recorded video and mm -hmm. upload it to the Switcher Cloud or something and then download it. So you could get like a pre-recorded video from that computer very easily onto that iOS device. But as right. far as going live, it's going to have to be from that main device. For instance, right now I am using an I, iPad Pro. I almost said Some iPad Pro. Some generation iPad of iPad. Yeah, it's the, it's the first USB-C version iPad Pro. Still works great. Oh, USB-C. 
fancy yeah. on lightning still. Uh, hopefully that helped answer your question right there. Uh, okay, hey, moving down I here. I'm, really, I just see you from Australia really quick. I'm, I'm curious oh. as to the time difference. What time? Like, are you in the future, right? I think. The, it's... So. It's they had a Morgan, one of our team. Actually, I think he's back. Back in no, the I think now. he's on his way back now. He may have left today. Yeah, we have a teammate Morgan who is from Australia. Now lives in Louisville with a lot of the team here. So uh, I think he's back visiting family. I'm not sure where he lives though, or where. He used <laughs> yeah, to live. we can tell you. I'm not sure I ever asked that part. Um, all right, Sorry, I interrupted here. you. You were nope, getting that question totally from YouTube. Totally I think. Fine. Yep, uh, from Jeff Branch question i was live streaming sunday and i played a video with music but i was getting live sound from the mic when i didn't want it can you tell me why i can yeah so that's that's by design um when you play a pre-recorded video um, we leave the mics hot or on um, as it's called just so you can add commentary over that video or something like that um, i'll show you very simply a way to get rid of that um, if you want to mute your mic uh, easiest way to do it is from Switcher Studio up here at the top. So this is your view meter showing the audio levels going out. This will st this would still be mm -hmm. bouncing if you had like a pre-recorded video going. But right next to it is this mute option here, or this this microphone with the the line through it. And if you tap on that, make sure I hit it. When it's got that blue background, mm -hmm. that means that the microphone is now muted. Um, and as you can see, the view meter went away because that's nothing's going on there. But like if I played like intro music. Um, I thought it showed us the stuff from there. All right, fourteen. Uh oh, 15, software then. update. Yeah. All right, there you go. So you can kind of <laughs> see there. Um, this is a pre-recorded video, and and as you can see, like I'm the view meter's going because that audio is going through, but our microphones are muted. That is a really good question and can get kind of difficult or confusing at times. But um, yeah, I'm glad you brought that up and, and mentioned yep. it. If you're using remote guest or the video chat feature in Switcher. Um, you can come in here to this audio tab down here. It's that one. Um, and you'll see like all your different microphones there and you can mute everybody individually here too, as well, if you wanted to, um, great, great question. Yeah. And just make sure you unmute it because I think I can't that tell you the amount of all, times I have yeah, made that. All <laughs> I just, I just mitigate it now by telling Matt, like when we, when, when we yeah, go live, I'm like, Hey, just be quiet until we go. So I don't have to make the mistake of accidentally yep. <laughs> muting us. Can't hear you You're muted. <laughs> all right. Hopefully that helps you there, Jeff. Um, all right. Looks like, uh, it's two 30 in the UK right now, which that sounds about right. Dan and I are still waking up here. It's, it's nine 30 here. It's uh, in the, in the UK. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. afternoon. All right. Right below that. Phil says any plans to increase the size of the switcher cloud upload from a hundred MBs megabytes. Um, I'm not sure I'm not we can sure. check with the, um, we can check with the engineer and get back to you on that one. Um, I don't, I don't know if there are, are plans to upload. I think like we're, we're kind of mitigating and making sure people aren't, you know, storing huge gigabytes, like 20 gigabyte files or something on the switcher cloud, but we can look into it and see if that's going to be increased. Um, typically what I'll do to get around the switcher cloud upload, if that's an issue is, um, I will either get it onto the iPad via Google drive or airdrop. If you have a Mac book and an iPad, you know, you can obviously just use airdrop, um, and from there, if you wanted to, you can from within the the app. Um, so if within Switcher Studio, and I can kind of show you this again here. Um, if we come over and we like select this video, and if this is bigger than 100 megabytes, we can actually use the upload button here and upload this to the cloud and have it show up there. So um, that is a way to get files with bigger than the 100 megabytes up there. You just have to upload them from the iPad itself, if that mm -hmm. helps. Um, again, we can look into it and see if that could change in the future. Yeah. I wrote it down here to make sure we, we ask later. Thank so. you for that. Yep. Thanks, Phil. Um, let's see. And just keep rolling down here on, on Facebook. Uh, I see uh, one. I, I, I see one ahead. before we get to that. Um, yep. I don't know, like, I don't want to miss it on YouTube and uh, I saw it come through here, uh, saying, can I do a live interview oh, great. Yep. Uh, when you're in London and my friend is in the USA, uh, definitely possible. 
Um, you know, that's you can check out the remote guest. Uh, I don't. Mm -hmm. uh, you're on. You're watching on YouTube, so maybe Claire, if you're in the comments there, and can share and um, uh, support link to uh, remote guest that can help you out. In fact, Matt and I right now are, you know, there's a river in, in between us. As mm -hmm. I say, we're using the remote guest feature of Switcher Studio where Matt is in Indiana, actually, and I'm in Kentucky. Uh, you know, I mean, we're not too far apart since, you know, Louisville and southern Indiana just just have like one Ohio River between them. Yep. yep. So, um, but yeah, like the remote guest can be as far out as you want. So. Um, yep. you know, you can connect with anyone over the world. I've done interviews with people from Australia. We've done, I've done people, uh, interviews with people in the UK. Um, I feel like I've had people, yeah, all over. So definitely possible. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, awesome. All right. Facebook. I have a question. Can, uh, this is from Brandon, it looks like, uh, can we connect a drone to the switcher studio? So you can't, oh, let me switch back to this a better, the, the two up of us. Um, you can't directly connect a drone, but this is another one. Mm -hmm. Maybe Tim, if you could share the, the comment or the, um, the link to iOS screen sharing, that's how we've done it in the past. I think if you search maybe on YouTube, um, or if you search drone on our help center, we actually have some detailed, um, instructions on how to do this or how we've done it in the past, but basically um, with iOS screen sharing, whatever shows up on an iPhone or an iPad can be brought into Switcher Studio as a source. So um, I know some of the DJI drones have like that free fly mode on the mm -hmm. iPhone when you connect it to a um, remote control where uh, there's no like UI on that screen. It's just a live clean feed of what's coming from the drone. Um, and that's the best way so you don't have like all the other buttons and things uh, flashing around on there as well. So um, yeah, that's how we've done it in the past. And it is really cool to be able to do. Um, it, there is a bit of a workaround to get it to work. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, so no, you cannot connect a drone to Switcher Studio. But yes, there is a way to bring drone footage into Switcher Studio. Yes. There you go. Uh, awesome. <clears throat> Let's see. We'll hop over here to YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> IAC Delaware. Uh, we seem to have lost our ability to split our screens. Was there an update that was made? What are your suggestions? Hmm. Hmm. Um, I might need some more information about this because I don't think that, um, that would have gone away for you. Um, I can show you like and and how you, how are you splitting your screens might help me too because you know you have these multi views here um, mm -hmm. are all right there if you um, add the plus button you can come in to these uh, what am I looking for multi views where it says it and you can there create is. them and select them there um, if you are talking about maybe like with the preview window enabled that did go away so this ability to do the multi view um, multi views from here did go away and um it just was creating some confusion and making things harder for people to use the the software that way so um we disabled it there but again you know you can create your multi view as an asset and then you can also pre-select all those so you don't have to like tap it each and every single time I'm trying mm -hmm. to make it easier for you um so i hope that helps um if that doesn't answer your question and there's something else going on let me know and we can uh look at that some more Okay. Uh, here's a question on Facebook from Phil. Uh, haven't tried this, but someone said that we can connect more than nine cameras, but they only have nine running at any time. They use nine and want, might want extras. Does this work? So um, I think the way that you can do this, and um, shout out to Kevin Jack and Brandon uh, with WeStream, who were doing this way back in the day when you can only have four iPhones connected at a time um, or four camera sources. But what you could do is you can have mo more than those nine iOS devices running Switcher Studio and open, label them smartly so like iphone one or camera one to up to however many you have connected and what you would do is um in switcher you're basically 
you, they're not all going to be connected here at the same time. But what you would do is, you know, your sources on your Wi-Fi network, you would drop cameras you're not using at the time and add the other cameras. So mm -hmm. maybe you need cameras one through nine for the first 20 minutes of a live stream. And then for the second 20, you don't need cameras one through three, but you need cameras 10, 11, 12. So you drop cameras one, two, three and connect cameras 11 or 10, 11, 12. So that will work. Um, and that is a workaround um, that you can do to get multiple cameras. But again, you can't have more than nine connected to the uh, main iPad running switcher. At one Does time. that include a remote guest as well? Dan? Yeah, <clears throat> I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. Um, I've not, we, I mean, we just did the nine camera, you know, iOS. Does someone on the switcher we, we team who's nine. here, can, can someone confirm that? Like, I don't want to say, um, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident that your remote guests also do count as, um, one of your sources as one of your sources, but I don't want to like say that for a hundred percent and then be wrong. So if, if someone on the team could either, you know, comment, put it up in Slack or something too on the, on our, on our thread there or comment on the, on the page, that would be really helpful. Yep. Cool. All right. Let's see. Um, We'll head over here back to YouTube, mm -hmm. our friend from Australia. Uh, why I'm not able to share a screen from my iPhone 13 Pro Max through screencast to the iPad and publish live from it. Okay, you're trying to screen share from the iPhone 13 Pro Max through screencast. Um, so it's iOS screen sharing. It shouldn't be switcher cast. Switcher cast is for um, PC or or Mac screen sharing. Um, do, do, do. And it's 11.37 p.m. Yes, they are in the future. It's been late. <laughs> Pretty soon they're going to be a day in the future from us. <laughs> um, okay. So if the 13 isn't connecting, that is a different... Um, issue but uh yeah like i i might need this question to be asked a different way I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble understanding it completely to the ipad that published live from it um do you have an idea uh, no i think so i i <laughs> um I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Could you maybe try asking again? If if we if we can't answer that right now, uh, email support at switcherstudio.com, and we'll mm -hmm. we'll give you a hand from there as well. Um, just to kind of give you an idea how how this works, um, you know, you have to kind of swipe down here. I can I can't really show it here, can I? Because I would need to connect it. Um, how I how screen you. sharing would work. Let me see if I can do this really quick. Uh, I'm just going to answer a few questions while you do that, Dan. Um, I see one here. Oh, and really uh, quick Facebook. while I'm doing this, sorry, I'm going to interrupt you again. I feel like I've been doing that a lot today. But uh, oh, just no, while, we're, while we're thinking of it, Asia did con confirm that. Um, oh, wait, no, she's just asking it there as well. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, never mind. No, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty confident <laughs> that that is the case. Sorry, Matt, I'm, I'm done. No, no you're good. Hey, you. hey, it's, fine. it's Monday. We're good. It's all good. Uh, Moses, we can do, you can do nine cameras. Nine camera sources there. I mean, we may have already answered that for you, but um, yeah. So we did a video just a couple, what, just a few days ago last week, where Dan and I had nine different iOS iPhones uh, and went through and just kind of showed a comparison between all of them. And you can definitely see uh, some perform better than others. So you can check out that on YouTube. Uh, just go back a, a few videos. Uh, all right, Dan, should, I, should I show you this? Yep. Ready? Take off so, the, uh, so like I'm page. sharing my this is my iPhone 10 and I'm sharing this. You have to first set it up um, beforehand and maybe um, if whoever's watching on YouTube could give you a, a link to to iOS screen sharing as well. But we'll go through. So I'm just swiping up from the top and you notice this red circle that dot that's going. That means I'm sharing. If you long hold on it, you get options for where you're sending that screen share to mm. and you'll want to choose switcher cast or switcher from there. And then hit start broadcasting, and then it'll show up in the that list of things to connect. 
Now, before yeah, it's quite possible you were using. An, he said he's using older devices before. It's possible that it was set okay. up on those older devices just to do that automatically. Um, so, and if and if you don't have that ability to do that, if you come down here, ooh, let me get rid of the comments so you can see a little bit better <laughs> on the screen. Um, if you come down to Control Center, this is where you want to add it. Um, Make sure, like it says, included controls there. Uh, mm -hmm. You're going to want yeah. screen recording to be enabled. If not, just come down to this more controls and just tap the green button next to the uh, screen recording. And that's going to show up in that control center and make it be really easy for you to um, start those. Again, this device does also have to be on that same Wi Fi network. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay. Hopefully well, that helps. If again, like if we're not answering your question, this goes for everybody out there. Um, if you're, if you, if we don't either don't get to your question on time or um, you still have some um, questions after the fact, always mm -hmm. you can email support at switcherstudio.com. We also have the Switcher Studio Enthusiast Group, which is a great place to, to ask questions um, there or, you know, catch us again on one of our other live streams. Yep. Yep. Um, okay. Here on, on Facebook, Phil asked how to delete production groups. Um, that, that is a good question. And that's something like I had, I had to ask about too. Um, the first thing you have to do is make sure that all of the, um, assets are out of that production group and then you're prompted with the ability to, uh, delete it. So, um, yeah. And just, just to show you, if you come down and select, you can select multiple assets this way and delete them here. I'll just get rid of some extra stuff I have around in this one. So you can see like I selected what five there and then um, I'll make the comment go away really quick and then the delete buttons in the lower left. So you can just select everything in that production group, delete yep. it, um, and then you're able to come in here, edit groups, and then you'll you'll be prompted with the delete option there. Great. Um, right below that, George asks, can I have repetition during my live? I'm, I'm guessing like maybe a, a looping video or a looping Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not, um, yeah, looping videos and stuff isn't really possible right now within Switcher. That's one that's been brought up a few times on these lives. So, um, you know, it's it's something we, we're continuing to iterate and make uh, things like video insertion better. So that's something we can look at um, in the future. No timeline right now on when something like that's available. But, um, you know, we are listening to you all yep. and, and seeing these comments coming through. Okay, I'm uh, gonna just go down here a little bit uh, from Jamie Houston on Facebook. We have a strange issue where our upload speed tanks in the app. Out of the app, it'll be 15 to 17 megabytes uh, per second. And inside the app, the test goes down to two. I'm pretty sure it's something with our ISP end, uh, on our ISP end, mm -hmm. uh, as the speed test is pretty much the same inside and outside of the app everywhere else except where I need it most at our church. Okay. Um, try something for me. Um, go when you're at the church or you can test the internet now. Again, the, the first advice I'm going to give is try and test in as real world situation as possible. Mm -hmm. So like if you go in on say a Monday afternoon when there's nobody in the church, nobody is really connected to that internet yeah. connection, you're going to get much different results than when there's a whole bunch of people in there. So the first thing I would check is, you know, um, is do a speed test, but don't go to something like speedtest.net. Um, try speedof.me. Um, mm. That's a really good one that's going to, you know, check some different servers. The speed test that's within um, Switcher Studio with Facebook go pings directly off Facebook servers. So that's the speed you're getting to Facebook and back. So yep. um Different speed tests can give you different results. The speed of dot me, I think gives really good, um, gives good accurate results. So, you know, you can try streaming at a lower quality. The last thing I'm going to give you advice for as well is, um, you know, if you are going to talk to your internet service provider, check your internet router, see how old it is. See, it might be outdated and it might be time to get a new one. And a lot of internet service providers will give you one for free um, or give you a free upgrade just to, yep. you know, make sure that your system is working well and, and is working at the, the, the correct specs it needs to be. Cool. Hopefully that helps again. Like that's another big topic. We've, we've done that on some <clears> live streams <throat> in the past and 
it's possible we could go back and, and do another one of those in the future as well. You may have said this, Dan, I was trying to read other questions here, but just make sure there's not a ton of other people using your network at, on Sundays. Change your password. I see over here on YouTube, uh, Jeff said that uh, wanted to thank us guys for the advice on the network problem change and changing his password and it worked. So there you go. Uh, just being thoughtful about how many people are using your network because that's going to tank it way down. So um, cool. Uh, let's see here. I Reverend something. Timothy wants to, Oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No, yeah. I think I was say Reverend I was Timothy saying. wants to know if there's any updates coming uh, there. There are updates coming. We can't talk about them yet. We're, Dan and I are trying to find out, what we're allowed to say <laughs> so uh it's kind of an ongoing thing like what can we announce what can we let you all know and i think next week when we come on i think we'll have hopefully a little bit more detailed answer for you but we just want to yeah, make sure we, we get can give first. we can give maybe a little more details we're at like the the updates were that we're working on are still like being worked on and still making sure that everything's cleared up so um yeah we're not like expecting yeah. an update next week or anything but um yeah, yeah we'll, we'll look into what what we can can say here and yeah let you guys know those things yep uh, um, this cool. one here we've kind of covered earlier uh switcher can connect nine camera sources yeah so yep, you can have that. nine yep, camera sources at a time um okay let's see here no plans of switcher studio hardware um, yep. right now we're a software company we considered it way way back in the day of doing some some hardware type things but um yeah we realized that that's not our expertise we'll leave that to the the experts so yeah no no switcher hardware um just just yep. sticking with the software side of things which is what we know best <laughs> uh, okay let's see here uh on Facebook from Daniel Spencer, will we ever be able to use a MacBook or iMac as a switcher dashboard? So as things are today, you will not be able to use um, mm. one of these as the dashboard. Um, I say as, as things are today, um, because as time goes on, we're, we're noticing that these iPads and these MacBooks are becoming closer and closer to each other. So there could become a day where, um, you know, switcher can run well enough on a, a MacBook or something. And then in which case we will be able to do that. But, um, you know, like some apps can run on on macbooks right now but the way that our app is set up that's not the case it's not possible so um it would be like a complete huge overhaul to change it so again right now mm -hmm. that's not possible we're, we're sticking with the ios um tree line if you will um, but again things could change in the future so be on the lookout stay tuned to our social stuff and you know we'll, we'll see what's possible um you know like if, yep. if if apple makes some crazy new announcement it's like Hey, we're putting a, um, you know, a, like the iPad software or, or iPad um, operating system on a computer or like they're going to be the same going forward, then it's it's very possible it could happen. So, um, but yeah, right now, uh, no, that it will not be possible. Okay. Um, now, this question is going to be for you because, <clears throat> excuse me, I I don't know. Uh, here on Facebook from Yvonik. Uh, hi guys, maybe a silly question, but are the datas between phones and routers linked to the output bit rates or not? Basically, can we overload a router by increasing bit rates or is it this or is it the same data as whatever the bit rates are? Cuz something sometimes I decrease the bit rate not to overload router, but I might be wrong. Okay. Um I I can try and answer this. I might be a little bit off on it but i do believe that increasing the bit rate does will you know increase the the minimum speeds required um like like the router is going to have to work harder to process that video and send it out if you are increasing the bit rates um that being said i will also say that if you increase, increase your bit rates a whole bunch um that storage um capacity that you're gonna need on those devices also goes up exponentially very quickly so um I recommend just whatever the default bit rate is, just stick with that. Mm -hmm. um, it seems to be working really, really well um, is what I would recommend for this. Don't really mess around with that unless you really like need to get some crazy 
good quality video and you're not streaming for a really long time. Um, that's another one we can look into um, and, you know, report back on, but um, to be completely confirmed, but I'm pretty sure that, um, you know, like if you're increasing the bit rate, you're, you're increasing the quality and the higher the quality, the, the harder it is for things to keep up. So, um, mm. yes, <clears throat> pretty confident on that, but I'm not a hundred percent, which is why I'm not, you know, like, I don't want to say for sure, but I'm, I'm, I'm fairly sure. <laughs> I will be honest. I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that helps you. Um, awesome. Hey, Will, good morning. Glad you're here. Chris, also good morning. I'm all, you know, always working on those jazz hands. Always. I'm looking at on Facebook here. Dion. Oh, I, I'm missing some of them. I must have <laughs> scrolled past them or something. We're... We're right below the question we just answered. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, we just talked about this one, Pavel. Um, yeah, no updates right now. We're, we're hoping we can give some updates here soon on what's coming next. Um, but again, yep. not, not right now. Uh, stay tuned. Yep. All right. Let's hop over here to YouTube and get a couple questions here. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, let's see one from me, myself, and I. Does the Switcher Studio dev team make their roadmap timeline public to give the users an idea of what's currently a priority and expected to launch. Not currently, but I think mm -hmm. that's where you'll get some information from us. Yeah. Here. And we're, and we're, we're talking with them. We're, we're kind of working on that to figure out what, yes. what's the best way to get this information to you all. Um, because we do, we do want to, you know, have some, some level of transparency there. So you all know that, yeah, mm -hmm. like the stuff you're looking for is being worked on and whatnot. So um, that is something that, is not is not there right now um but yeah we're working on so hopefully you know sometime here soon and and you know matt and i can can bring this up again and and have those conversations yep. and and yeah so yes right now the the roadmap is not public um but you know we'll, we'll figure that out and we'll get to it so you you all mm -hmm. can have a little bit more information i wrote it down to have more conversations about so uh all right going just right down here on youtube from um i say yes Leon, uh, can I log in to a different Facebook at the same time? Um, no, you're going to be linked to that one account. Facebook account. Um, is how you can do it. Now, if you need to, to stream to multiple Facebooks, there's a couple ways you can do it. Um, mm -hmm. If they're pages, you can check out cross posting. We have a lot of information on that. Um, or you could do the multi streaming, which is available within um, all the plans, and you could stream to your main, whatever, like the main pages that you have and then you could do rtmp so it's a custom rtmp stream is what you set up yep. on that secondary one so you could stream to two different pages like that but um you can only be linked to one facebook account at a time yep and just i feel like people are still finding this out you can multi-stream to different like dan and i are doing facebook and youtube right now to different locations as well like that was mm -hmm. just with the last update so heads up it's pretty easy. Dan, you just want to like give a little pointer on where they can find that. Uh, which one? Sorry. Like I was, was multi-streaming. Just, just show them where the multi-streaming yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is. Um, the easiest way to do it is on the switcher studio dashboard, which yeah. I think I've got open here. I'll show you. That's my preferred way. Um, poop. Come on over here. Um, if you look down, if you go to platforms, multi-streaming is right there. You can open the yep. details here. Um, you create a new multi-stream and then you choose Facebook here for your first one, whatever's linked and those options will come up. And then your other one, you'd have to do mm -hmm. RTMP here. Yep. Um, and I can just show you here too. Outputs tab on this device here, multi-streaming is right down there. You can, it's pretty much the same exact um, way to, way to set up down here yep. as it would yep. be on the dashboard. I just think it's easier, especially with RTMP um, to do it on the dashboard. And that's going to link automatically with the with the outputs once you create that you'll just mm -hmm. swipe down here and you can see it says synchronizing with the dashboard so that's um the dashboard and the app communicating with each other if you do that your multi-stream will show up here sweet uh and then just right below that on youtube from georgia and mod uh wait i'm actually missing one Hold on. uh yeah is there linking 
a Zoom meeting in Switcher possible? So can you link Zoom and Switcher po so possible? Yeah, that's um, that might be. We might want to do like a broadcasting blueprints on something like that, Matt. Um, yeah, I, I'd check out our um, our help center for that right now. Just search Zoom on yeah. uh, support. Claire, that's you can drop it. Com, or yeah, if Claire could get it in there, um, here it is. So yeah, check it out. It is possible. It's a very cool uh, workaround and things people are doing. So yeah, check it out. Um, there's step-by-step -step instructions yeah. for how to set it up. And yeah, you should be good with that. Sweet. All right, coming back over here to Facebook. Um, let's see here. Uh, I see David saying public road maps yeah. are a huge risk when you have competitors. This is very true. Yes, um, exactly. You know, and that's something we, we will take into account and probably why it's not out right now. So again, like be on, be on the lookout for, for something. Yep. That's exactly right. Uh, and that's why you haven't, seen anything but we do want we do want to share with you all because obviously you're users but we also know that we don't know who else is watching I see you uh all right just a little bit above uh david's comment there for scoreboard clock uh is there a way we can bring in our own gfx and create shortcuts accordingly um not currently the way that people are doing this um sc score clocks right now um, are either using the scoreboard in if you don't need a clock. Um, iOS screen sharing and using like a scoreboarding app can work as well, mm -hmm. or having another device that's just pointed at the camera or at the um, like at a scoreboard within the arena or wherever you're streaming from can also work. Yeah. Um, we're we want to make sure if we add something like that that it it makes sense um, because you're already doing a lot switching camera angles monitoring audio adding graphics and stuff so um, you know keeping up with the score is one thing but also having to especially if there's like the time is starting and stopping a whole bunch can get really tricky so um, you know we want to make sure that you're able to do it um, mm -hmm. In a, in a decent way. Now, that being said, another thing and something I've done in the past is if there is maybe a computer that's there that's running the scoreboard or something and it has like an interface, you could potentially bring that in via switcher, switcher cast or um, the, the college that I went to and we did some streaming with uh, for their basketball, they had like a live stats page and I would just, right. um, you know, have that be brought up and, and like when there's like a lull in the action or something, I would show that and that would show like how much time, um, you know, it would show the sc scores and also the stats of what's going on with the players. So that's another way you could do it. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Chris, uh, AKA Facebook user, uh, is there any possibility in the future of switcher being able to retrieve Facebook or YouTube comments when connected via RTMP? Um, I I think that this is on the roadmap as far mm -hmm. as I am told. So it, it, not yet, but hopefully soon. Um, so yeah. yes, don't tell anybody. All right, tell whoever you want to tell us fine. Um, I see I see Kevin Jack in here saying late to the party, but morning. Um, morning. He's talking about Kevin. the Zoom stuff. But yeah, Kevin, I, I, I know you're late, but we had to give you a shout out earlier because uh, some of, we're talking about how many camera sources you can use, mm -hmm. and people are asking if it's possible to somehow get more than nine. Um, and we had to shout you guys out for mm -hmm. what WeStream was doing way back in the day with the um, having multiple cameras running switcher and just adding and dropping cameras as you needed them. So, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. that's the man behind that. <laughs> Been long, long time switcher studio users. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see here. All right, just here on Facebook from Andy. Question, please. Which camera are you using for your live stream? This camera doesn't look like iPhone camera. It looks like a mirrorless or DSLR. The camera quality looks very good. I don't think it's an iPhone. Well, uh, can you guess which one of us is using an iPhone and which one isn't? Because mm -hmm. one of us isn't and one of us is. One of us, yeah. Well, should we just tell them? <laughs> We'll give a second to like for suspense. Uh huh. Okay. Dude, well, Dan dude, is dude. using an iPhone. You're using the iPhone 13, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I, iPhone 13 Pro Max, mm -hmm. and I am using a Canon M50 uh, that's connected to my computer. Uh, Dan gave me a link via remote guest, and I joined this way. So, yeah. Honestly, so, I think they look pretty. Dang. Lighting's going to be a in a, you know in play here. Um, I think if Dan had some fancy 
uh, magenta lights behind him. I think it would look even closer, but <laughs> yeah, my problem is, is this is too close. I tried setting some up. It just didn't look good. So maybe I'll try again in the future. But, Tear it all down. Yeah. Just, just knock this wall out, move it back a couple, <laughs> couple feet. Yeah. Um, um, cool. Uh, all right. Over on YouTube from Reverend Timothy. Can you, so you can cross post and multi-stream at the same time. I don't see why you wouldn't be. Yeah, you you can. You can. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The answer That'll is work. yes. The answer is yes. Matt has spoken. Yep. It is decided. Uh, and then right below that, below that, Alleluia Sanctuary Church. Hey guys, is Switcher Studio thinking of creating its own camera in the future? Not not currently. No, we're nope. going to keep on keeping on with the iOS devices. So mm -hmm. um, we'll let you all know straight away if something changes there. Um, and then Brian says, thanks uh, for fixing the scheduling scheduling time. Yeah. You're welcome. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for bringing that up. Yeah. Um, we we yep. saw some people write in, but, you know, those were the things we were able to, um, you know, get that information from the engineers quickly. And so we could get a fix out. Um, okay. Let's see here. Uh, see Kevin just saying yeah I got ha, had 11 cams going for ice hockey again this was like back when you could only connect four cameras <laughs> got to get those penalty box cams going for Matt when that <laughs> goes goon hey I've been I've been this season I had zero penalty minutes which that's a that is a personal best for me I was usually leading the team you know I just turned 40 I've, I've calmed down quite a bit uh not taking it so seriously so uh but somebody will get a penalty right not me though um let's see here so pavel's talking about this one here talking about um avoiding the video chat refresh after four hours um i'm pretty sure that the the video chat link is still active um so basically you just that that person can't be um you can't have someone stay in the room for four hours at a time so they if you can just have like them leave and then reconnect you know, after a couple seconds or something, that's going to be fine. You don't have to have everyone leave. The host would have to leave probably at some point as well. Um, but again, the, the video chat room is still active. So, um, you know, I would just, if you, if you're doing like a four hour broadcast or something, try and have that, um, you know, a graphic made just being like, um, be right back or stand by, just have that break built in. If you do have a good lull action time in there and just have it go out and then come right back in. Um, interesting, interesting thought, but yeah. Um, and it doesn't all have to be at the same time. It's just like someone can't be in the room for four hours at a time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then Paul, 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 I think I like feel like my, my throat's like closing up here. Excuse me. Uh, right below that, Pavel asked about cinematic mode on the iPhone 13 Pro and if it will be compatible with Switcher Studio. N not currently. Um, I know this has been brought up quite a few times, but uh, I don't think there are any plans as of yet. But also, they don't they don't tell Dan and I everything either, so surprise. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, let's see. Okay. Chris brought this up. Is it is this a known issue when I selected with multi-stream YouTube did not take the selected cover? Um, I This is cover image. We just missed the last page there. I noticed this today, um, Chris. I noticed that because like, I just had a YouTube tab open and went to the home and saw like where I had it scheduled. And sure enough, um, it had something from like an old update uh, that we had going out. So... Um, yeah, I'm going to, like, it was too close to bring this up, but I'm going to add this to, um, the engineers, um, information, see if, if it is a bug or what's yep. going on with it. Um, and so yeah, st stay tuned. Hopefully that'll just be fixed and we'll be able to fix it. Um, if not, we'll, we'll give you a workaround for, for what to do there. Okay. Um, I'm okay. I, I yeah. know, like, we got more questions we need to get to, but I'm never gonna get a little <laughs> old of the <laughs> of the the Matt playing hockey memes that are going on here. All right, you're all invited to my my you know opening game next season. Come on uh, to Louisville; it'd be so fun. Yeah, it's <laughs> great. Yeah, Lars, I, uh, Lars, I think you, Lars, I, I believe, just posted recently in the enthusiast group talking about his. Um, you're right. A, a recent setup, and it looked really great. It looked really awesome. So yeah, using the new 13 Pro, they are amazing devices. Um, 
cool. All right. Okay. Um, um, Tim, just giving me some context here, talking about the um, the cover image thing, says it doesn't sync with YouTube. It's only a Facebook, if I remember correctly. So, um, yeah, we'll get to the bottom of that, and we'll get back to it. Um, it should go to hope, both. I, I would hope it would. Um, yeah, we'll look into it. We'll let you know. Awesome. Um, I did have... There was something in the group that someone was asking, uh, Dan. Dan, why would a CPU load be in red uh, in your um, on your switching device? Um, typically, that the CPU load going too much is there might be too movement too much movement on the screen uh, for that device to handle. Most of the time, it's probably that device, iPhone probably. or iPad is is starting to become obsolete i'm 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 having that pop up some with my secondary ipad i have here like i won't stream with that anymore just because it, it is starting to slow down um and and it is running into those issues um but that is my understanding of of what would cause those that's what i was that's what i was thinking too awesome okay uh looks like we're kind of slowing down here on questions uh again dan and i do this Every Monday on YouTube and every other Monday, we alternate between our main Facebook page and the enthusiast group here on Facebook for there for those of you on Facebook. Um, if you haven't already, please give us a, a review uh, at the App Store. We'd love for you. We'd love for you to do that. Honestly, like we, we, your is this the your sign opinions, off? Should I get thoughts, the outro yeah, music going? Yeah, make it happen. Yeah, well, we have currently zero questions. So, uh, yeah, give us a give us a, a rating. Honestly, we want to make this app better for you all. We want to help you make better live streams. So, uh, we'd love for you to do that. Um, if you haven't joined our Discord, just do it. Uh, we're, we're there, just trying to again like sharpen each other, build each other up, bounce ideas off each other. Um, and you're at, there's a spot there you can share your live streams. Uh, Self promo is pretty open on the Discord. So, uh, yeah, hop over there and, and hang out with us. Uh, Dan, thanks so much for your time and your knowledge today. Everyone, thanks for your questions. Dan and I are working on another live stream here later this month. It's going to be over audio. We're going to kind of show different audio setups. Uh, we're going to bring Jared on and uh, hopefully help you all have better audio for your live streams as well. So, Hey, everyone. Appreciate you all. Thank you. And Matt, yep. thank you thank as you. well for keeping us going and on track. Um, appreciate you all. And we'll, we'll catch you next week. Peace.